Hi everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Alright, this is a, a pumpkin um, a monogram, whatever your thing, you fill it, you stick the uh, circle fonts in there. Um, I do have a video that shows you both how to make this and the circle fonts. Um, but this is, uh, I'm going to send this over to the Scan and Cut 2. Now this is for the 2, not the original version. This is for the 350 and the 650. Um, Brandon and myself have worked on this to get this to be able to work. Um, because before when you exported an SVG from Scal, it was either too small or too big. There was no in-betweens. Okay, so now I'm exporting as an SVG. Okay, so watch what we have to do. Alright, so here is the little SVG export option. Sorry, I'm going to bring you in a little closer. Okay. The options. Before you just clicked OK, you just go right through this. You don't think about it. This is what you must do. You have to do this. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. In order to get it to uh, export in the appropriate size to maintain the size aspect. Okay? 96 DPI. Selection only, it must be, must have the selection box around it, just like it's got here with the little arrows, okay? Then you click OK, and that will save it um, to your stick, all right? So let's head over to the machine. Okay, so here we are at the machine, and please forgive my bouncy hands. All right, so let's select Pattern, Save Data hit the up button because it's always going to be at the bottom okay and this takes a while for this to load I won't pause it I'll let you see it does it takes forever reach back here see if my little sticks back here no it's not as you see it's still loading okay so there it is but there's no lines you have to come up here and hit OK and look it is in the exact same place with the exact same size okay so remember when you are exporting an SVG from scale you must use the 96 DPI um, however I tell people if you're in scale just export it as an FCM it's just as easy it's actually easier because you don't have to worry about the clicking through that DPI screen okay um, but I just wanted to update this video so that you guys know that everything is hunky-dory now. All right, if you all have any questions, find us over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.